Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is my second part of the maritime land videos. So how can a maritime land be discharged or terminate? A maritime land is designed to prevent the ship owner from selling the vessels with a clear record while it is still under investigation. Thus, it is paramount that the lion must be discharged or terminate for future sales with a clear record An analogy of this lien is as follow for a car involved is in an accident the car's conditions before the incident is important for investigators <coughs> if the vehicle is sold during the investigation it may be difficult to trace and resume work the new owner may have surfaced it or moved to a different location the certificate must be issued before transferring ownership, starting that the vehicle is not involved in any ongoing investigations and has a clean record, not that the certificate is for the vehicle and not for the, care owner, for the car owner. Similarly, for transferring ownership or of a vessel, the lien must first be terminated. This is commonly achieved by, the way, by way of selling settling the claim the owners can pay the fines with his ownership of the vessel sell or auctions it to the authorities for realizing realizing payments of the effective effective affected parties or legal foreclose of the vessel ram auctions are commonly applied in case of international accident where legal authorities sell the vessel to a bidden to clear the vessel of any involvement in the incident. In extreme cases, destructions of the property under consideration can remove this can only be achieved by vessels destructions and not in part. Lastly, certain judicial rulings state that then lion must be claimed within a set period. This indicates that the individual or organizations claiming the lien has exercised due diligence under good faith. This is used to prevent the claimant from going back on their words to claim and recover damages at the earliest. It is also known as estoppel in legal terms and it's classified a form as a form judicial sanction. A few of the important features and characteristics of maritime lien can be explained as follows. A maritime lien can be terminated if the vessel is destroyed. However, if the ship has been demolished partially, then the lien will still be applicable. Another way of terminating the lien against the person who holds the lien papers is if the marine admiralty find that enforcing the lien has not been done in on time. The lateness in the enforcement of the maritime line by the lien holder to judge whether the lien needs to be terminated or not is de decided based on the causes and factors of the delay. The ship part that come under the purview of maritime line are the, the hull, engines, lighters, coats, and tackles. The causes for maritime lien arising are incident to the vessel and thereby injuries to the ship personnel in an ocean waters or because of mortgage transaction. This means that any damage caused because of the ship and directly because of the ship equipment will invoke the applications of a maritime lien. To claim the damages, the lien holder must take actions by applying in the courts. In case of multiple maritime lien and shortage of funds, the claim will the highest amount of priority get the compensation of maritime lien is a complete series of legal measures to safeguard the rights of affected parties requiring detailed features that encompass possible issues on the vessel. Some of these protected features under Admiralty Law are crew wages, ship mortgage, pollution claims, charter party bridge cases, essential maintenance, cure and supply contract claims, maritime tort liens, unpaid career claims, salvage claims. The, relate, the relations between interim litigations and a maritime lien 
from and personal are latin terms used in law to indicate the party against whom the case is brought rums refers to property in rum actions it is pro against the vessel cargo freight or equipment attached to the ship attached legally not physically for instance the organizational leadership that manage a shipping company is not comprised of a single ship owner instead there are multiple individuals led by a chief person instead of a time intensive investigation to identify the liable ship owners and the responsible parties the libel is attached to the vessel while owner and operations might change the ship alone remains con constant and can be identified easily for legal proceeding another reason is the differing jurisdictions of the various parties involved to prevent responsible parties from escaping the legal system by arguing that they are outside the jurisdictions of the admiralty court the ship can always be held liable for the damage lastly by bringing an in a rem maritime lien claim the affected parties are assumed assured of receiving payment either by security by the ship owner or by selling the rest or the property What are the problem or controversies with instituting a maritime lien? A maritime lien is not without its controversies. One of the most popular ones is the concept of the ownership of the liability. Since a maritime lien invokes the liability on the ship and its equipment, it is sometimes said that this aspect of the marine law opposes the entire world. The contractual parties to any agreement must follow the jurisdictions of a specific country determined based on mutual intergovernmental trade agreement. However, using a maritime line brings the conflict of law to the fore. The various legal authorities that are eligible to make regulations or rulings on maritime law are country of accident, flag country, country of operation, country of origin or cargo onboarding however controversies or no controversies it cannot be denied that maritime line as maritime law is a highly influential force so this is the last part of the article bye bye and see you on my next video bye